Welcome back to my channel. I've got a really interesting video for today. I think you're going to enjoy. So recognizing emotions in other people seems to be one of those things we have trouble with. And it's hard enough to recognize emotions in ourselves. So there's a lot of online tests you can take to see how you would do. So I thought it would be fun. I've been wanting to take one of these tests and I want to share that with you. I asked my handy dandy co-pilot they could recommend some tests for people with autism in identifying emotions and facial expressions and they've said there's three different ones um, there's a facial expression quiz uh, this simple quiz accesses your ability to recognize different emotions based on facial expressions and it's designed specifically for individuals with autism or Asperger's uh, we're going to take that one there's the reading the mind in the eyes test. Um, that's a separate test. It has 36 photographs of people's eyes and a word that best describes the picture. Um, and then number three is a micro expressions test. It's a fleeting uh, facial expression that lasts about half a second. I think that's gonna be very difficult to do. I want you to play along here and let me know or how you did on the test. Here we go. All right, first facial expression. What is this facial expression portraying? Love, desire, happiness, surprise. Um, I think it could be any of these. I'm gonna say the obvious one, for me at least. I think it's happiness. It could be happiness. I'm gonna go with that. Okay, is this woman fear, have fear, surprised, disgusted, or angry? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say surprised. Are they really making it this easy? She's gotta be surprised. Her mouth is open. That's what I would guess. Are they gonna get harder? Ooh, look at this guy. Is he feeling angry, disgust, contempt, or sad? He could be feeling any of those. I must say maybe not angry. I'm gonna say he could be contemptful. He could be sad. He could be disgusted. He could be any of those, but I'm just gonna go with sad. Because it looks like he's been crying. This lady, is she, does she look to you scared, disgust, surprise, or anger? What would I say about her face? She's, she's, she's got gas, maybe? She's trying to hold it in. She's in a library and she can't hold it any longer. I'm gonna say she's surprising herself. No. Disgust? I'm gonna go with disgust. At least they're not making all of these easy. Alright, what is this facial expression? Contempt, angry, shock, sadness. Well, she's posing and holding up her jacket. So I think she's modeling. You can't tell what a model is thinking. She's possibly angry because it's itchy fabric on her. Um, she's not shocked, I don't think. Not sad. I'm gonna go with... No, maybe she is sad. I'm gonna go with sad. I'm gonna change my mind. This man. Can we figure this one out? Is he angry, scared, surprised, or contempt disliking someone? He's gotta be angry, right? got to be an angry look. His mouth is open. He looks like he's screaming. I'm going to say that one. Okay, this little girl who's peeking through some fabric. I think she tore the couch. No, she tore a chair. She's looking through the bottom of it and she's scared. She's going to get in trouble. How's she feeling? Surprised, angry, sad, scared. That's scared when you're putting your hands in your mouth that has to be scared. Although, do people really do that when they're scared? I don't think I've ever put my hands in my mouth when I'm scared. 
Oh, well, it's just that many questions. That was very short. Happiness, if you said happiness, you got that one right. Because she has crow's feet near her eyes and raised cheeks. It's telling us why each expression. Okay, this person surprised I got this one right. Maybe I recognize emotions better than I realize. Um, it tells us why that surprised face. Sad, I said sad. I got that one right. Eyebrows, lips curled. I didn't get lips curled. Disgust, I gave disgust. She's disgusted. I got that right. Wrinkles on the forehead, lines on the forehead. I said sad for her, and she does look sad to me, but she's contempt, disliking someone. How in the world would you know that she's disliking someone by that look on her face? They say it's because contempt is shown at the curling of one side of the lip, also known as a sneer. I don't think that's what she's doing. That's not the way I saw it. And then angry. We got the classic angry look. I don't think this test was very, very challenging. Or maybe I'm better at recognizing emotions than I realized. But when it's more complex emotions, I don't think it's going to be as easy to tell. And yes, she was scared. I got six out of seven right. Maybe I'm just not autistic. Maybe I was just incorrectly diagnosed, right? I don't think so. So how did you do? If you did good on that, let me know because it's going to make me feel better. Because the results of that test, I'm going to have to take the second test that has 36 questions because i got to get a better answer for myself. So test number two, buckle up. Let's do this. Okay, I'm really excited to try this test. Social intelligence test. It says, how well can you read emotions of others by looking in their eyes? We're, we'll see, won't we? I find this piece of information pretty interesting. They want to know how poor I consider myself. I don't know why that's valid or why that matters in this case. Hmm, let's see, I live in a double wide trailer. Um, all right, let's start the test. Okay, we gotta figure out if this person is jealous, panic, arrogant, or hateful. Hey. Well, I don't think he's jealous or hateful. Maybe panic, I'm gonna go with panic. Number two, we gotta figure out if this person is playful, comforting, and irritated or bored. Hmm. This person looks playful to me. Playful. Flirty. He looks flirty. I think he's flirting with me. Is he irritated? I'm just gonna go with playful, my first instinct. This person looks tired. But we have to choose terrified, upset, arrogant, annoyed. I'm going to say this person is upset. All right, about to see the results of this test. See? All right, show me my results. Your score is 23 out of 20. Out of 36. Your score is equal or better than 22% of all participants. This test was developed in Great Britain and images you saw were taken from British magazines in the 1990s. That's interesting. Unsurprisingly, the test doesn't work perfectly for people who are not native speakers of English or people who come from cultures very different from Britain's. Should you worry if you get a low score? No, your screening, lighting level, mood, fatigue, and other factors might affect it. Results of this test are useful when they are averaged across many people, but can be inaccurate for any individual person. I don't think that was very helpful at all. 
my score is 23 out of 36. What does it mean? Does it mean that I got 23 right? Because I felt like I was guessing with most of them. I said, but it says I only scored better than 22% of participants. It would be interesting to know were these people autistic or not autistic. So that leaves me with a lot of questions on that. All right, let's tackle this test. It's the Paul Ekman group, and it's a micro-expression test. Can you identify the facial expressions that quickly flash across the screen? All right. Here we go. What emotion is being displayed? Did you see how quickly she changed her face? Is that contempt, enjoyment, fear, anger, disgust, sadness, or surprise? Um, maybe she's having a seizure. I can't tell. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say disgust. Okay, what emotions displayed by this fella here? Ooh, do it again. Ooh, are we really supposed to know the answer to this? Contempt, enjoyment, I can't tell what he's doing in that split quarter of a second. Fear, anger, disgust, sadness, surprise, do it again. What emotion is being displayed? There's only two more. Come on, make a face, make a face. That was surprise. If I had to guess, that's surprise. And then this fellow, what emotion? Come on. Surprise again. They're all surprised. A fear. Maybe he's scared. Let's submit and see how we did. Oh, they're going to email me. I gave them my email. So comment down below, how would you have done on the test? And did you find this test interesting? I actually like to do online tests and things like that. I think they're fun. Um, I don't think this one's gonna help you realize anything about autism, but it was kind of interesting. And, um, you know, just seeing how much I struggled with knowing what emotions that they were having. Um, just by looking at eyes, I couldn't really tell. I felt like, it was a hard test for me. Let me know if it was easy for you, but um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you hopefully in the next video. Bye.